Hello and welcome everybody to another StarCraft 2 game cast by Glitch. This is going to be a TVT on Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, spawning here in the bottom right corner as the Red Terran, we have OGS, the STC. I know that his tag just says OGS, and I'm not entirely sure why that is. I'm not sure if this is a separate account uh, that... that Actually, both of the characters that I that are uh, in this game today are both under uh, tags that are not what they read on the website when I downloaded the replay. I'm not sure why that is, but um, I believe that these are the actual players. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Uh, this is OGS the STC, as I said. And uh, in the top right corner, spawning is the blue Terran, we have Zephyr Prime, who is actually Marine King Prime. Again, I have no idea for why they have the, uh, the different names. Um, I don't know whether these are North American accounts and separate from their Korean accounts. Uh, I have no idea. But um, this is going to be a TVT. Like I said, the reason I am casting TVT is because I realize that I have actually ta cast very, very few mirror matchups. I'm not sure why that is. I have not done that intentionally, but um, I realize that I have casted very few TVTs, PVPs. I think I've casted one ZVZ before, but I decided I need to do some of that, and so I've decided this week is going to be mirror matchup week. That is completely arbitrary, and I have no idea why, but I've never casted uh, mirror matchups, so this is going to be the week to do it. This game is the first, actually, in a series of four games. Uh, I'm not sure whether they were games cast, um, or, sorry, not cast, but played because uh, they were part of a tournament or anything. All I know is that they were on Battle.net, and there were four of them. That's, that's all I know, and so I'm going to cast them because I thought uh, they would be good games to cast. Two excellent Korean players. Very good Terran players, both of them. So, um, getting into the game, so far for both... Uh, both players, we have one Rax down. Zephyr Prime now throwing up a factory. I don't know whether I should. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to be calling him Marine King Prime or Zephyr Prime this whole time. Uh, this is Marine King Prime, though. I'm um, now throwing down a factory, so we are going to see some quick tech out of Marine King Prime. Maybe some Hellions here, and actually a factory also going down for OGS the STC. But he is hiding it. He has placed it up here in the top left corner of his base, so that uh, any scout will not see what kind of tech he is going for. Um, both players are almost identical right now. If we look, check out the Harvester count, both players are pretty much identical on Harvesters, 15 to 17. I'm not really sure why uh, the STC is behind a Harvester. I'm not sure whether he was just not quite on top of his SCV production, or whether he might have skipped one to get uh, this factory up. No, that can't be the case either, because Marine, King's Prime, Marine King Prime's factory is already up, and there is a Starport now going down for Marine King Prime, and... Hey, what do you know? Identical builds so far. Both players going for what is known as the Destiny Cloud Fist build. That is the build where you go 1-1-1. One, one, one. one barracks, one factory, one starport. Giving you immediate access to a pretty wide variety of units. OGS the STC now moving out with a few marines, looking to do maybe some early damage, or maybe just w sit on the towers. But uh, Marine King Prime does have this Hellion out that is on the other Zelnaga tower. More Hellions being produced by that factory, and he has started production of a Banshee. No cloak yet, but that Banshee is on the way out. Both players actually producing a Banshee right now, so both players are actually doing very, very similar builds. Uh, OGS the STC is getting cloak right now, so uh, Marine King Prime will not have his cloak when his Banshee comes out. This is very interesting that both players chose to go for pretty much identical builds. Check out the harvester count. A harvester count has now pretty much evened out. These Hellions are now moving across the field and trying to get into this base. And OGS the STC needs to be very careful because these Marines will go down very fast to those Hellions, as you can see. Three Hellions, or oh man, all those Marines go down. And now it is one Hellion versus two as uh, OGS the STC loses his SCV there as he finishes construction on that bunker. Uh, Marine King Prime is now moving out with more forces. Hellions are coming across the field. There is this Banshee now on the field, and I don't think the STC has any Marines to defend against this. He is just now starting to build his Marines 
and uh, this Banshee has reached the front door of OGS, the STC, and these Hellions are going to break down this wall very, very quickly. Some SCVs coming out to repair, but they did not make it, and the Hellions moving into the base. These two Marines are not going to be able to do too much damage, but they do manage to make it into the bunker, but that bunker is going down mighty fast. They are focusing that Banshee, which I think is the proper move for OGS, the STC, but this, these two Hellions getting a, just a lot of kills in, and these Marines also doing some pretty good support here for these Hellions. Wow, this is going to be a quick... Uh, a quick game, and wow, OGS, the STC, GG's out of the game, or WW's out of the game, as it is commonly done in Korea, and that was a very, very quick win for Zephyr Prime, very nice push there with the Hellion and the Banshee, very well timed, I didn't expect the game to be that fast, but uh, here we are, guys, on to game two.